Hello there. How are you guys doing? Hope you're great. I am because I have some great news. I just uh, passed my uh, driving license test this week, so I have my driving license now for for truck, uh, not for car though. That I already have, of course. Um, uh, so yeah, that's some great news. But uh, yeah, first off, here we're going to drive from France to Belgium, uh, Paris to Brussels with this forklift, 14 tons and we're gonna take a detour here, we're not gonna take the highway or motorway here, we're gonna go up and through Lille, <laughs> it's called a little town there and uh, pass through there to uh, make it a little bit more exciting for you guys and uh, longer video because I know you like these long videos and with commentary I noticed you guys said you like with commentary so uh, I am providing you with that just for you. <laughs> Otherwise, I would much rather drive without commentary and just listen to music or something. But if you want some radio in the background, you know, don't hesitate to go into your favorite online radio or something and uh, put the volume down a bit so you can hear me. Meanwhile, I guess. <coughs> Damn, I um, my voice is kind of weird at the moment. My nose is um. A little bit stuffed it feels. Oh, whatever. Hope this will turn out good anyways. So yeah, I'm feeling great now with my uh, trucking license. I can now drive real trucks like this one. Uh, it can weigh how much it, it wants, up to like 60 tons. I can drive it fully legally. Um, but I have a few things left that I need to do before I can start working as a truck driver. I can jump into some jobs now but there's one uh, one more thing that I had to take which is called YKB which is like working competence permit or something I think it's called in English which um, oh shit this is close Whoa. Um, which like permits you to work yeah, at, at any truck job legally um, so I haven't taken that yet, I'm currently starting to take that and uh, I will also take uh, this which I'm driving now it's a truck with trailer, now I only have the the truck, like I can drive this truck and I can drive drive it with a a trailer attached to it but which doesn't turn around, it's like attached to the to the chassis, uh, that I can drive and those can weigh up to 20, 30, 30 tons Oh, and sorry if I tricked you into watching this video, thinking or watching American Truck Simulator Vita. I think that's a title. <laughs> uh, no bad intentions at all, but I think this, like, with this mod and this autumn mod, which you can see here on the trees, so I put, which makes it feel like spring or autumn. It's really awesome, and it, this, all of this, I mean driving on the countryside, it really gives you the chills of driving like an American truck simulator here so I thought that would be a, like a fitting description and I'm also going to provide you a description of some more information about uh, American truck simulator uh, when it's gonna come out, if they have a release date and if they have any beta coming and stuff like that probably the features as well so you can read down there when you get bored of watching me, maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, also as you see here in front of me, uh, we have a tripped econ, if you look down there in the middle of the screen. We have something called the trip econ, and that is, uh, it shows us our uh, fuel economy. So right now, as you can see, we are at 47 liters every 100 kilometers, and it goes down. As you see, the current econ is low, but if I floor it, you will notice it goes up instantly. And that has recently been resetted, so it goes up and down a lot now, but will eventually land on, I think, 30 or a little bit above. So we're going to try and drive as economically as possible here. And now that I have my uh, trucking license, you will notice I drive a lot more carefully. Uh, 
different from earlier videos where I just floor it all the time. And um, so as you can see also down on the right bottom side you have a speed limit sign size 60. So we're gonna try to stick to that. We have already created some uh, traffic behind us if you look at our side mirror there. So we're gonna switch up to 16th gear now. Uh, this truck mod actually has 16 gears which is pretty awesome. And you have to fill around with the options a bit to get that um, to work. I think I chose the one with the range and splitter, not the custom range splitter, just the range and splitter and it works. And I have my two range and split buttons down here, down below here, uh, which I press like uh, now I am in 14th gear, 15th gear, 16th gear. Just by pressing these buttons and putting them in the clutch and of course if I need to I can change the gear position to actually access the lower, lower gears. What is really bad though, which I hope they will get fixed in American Truck Simulator, is 7th gear. Because this gearbox TH8A or TH8RS is really famous. I think it's bad that they haven't made support for that 7th gear here. And that will be perfect in trucking. Although, as you may have seen from my uh, real life videos, at the real life Euro trucks like Scania, Volvo, which doesn't have this incredible big hood in the front, it's just uh, straight down. Uh, those actually only have like three or four gear positions for going forward and they have two buttons as I have here to change between all the uh, 12 forward gears and then you have like three or four more reverse gears uh, so you actually have six uh, or wait five positions in the Scania which I will be driving in our school only five gear positions so it's less than this one this one has eight uh, so that's a uh, uh, so I, I get that they don't have enable that 7th gear uh, and I th I'm fine with it but it would be fun with these kind of American trucks because as you see they have 16 and some some of them have 18 gears all the way also up to 24 gears I have uh, had a truck mod with that and I've seen some YouTube video of that <coughs> with like gear sticks hanging up here and they're just like shifting all the time <laughs> it's really crazy so now we're not going to turn to the right here. We are going straight ahead. And as you see now on this trip econ, we are down at 30 liters a mile, I guess. It's 1000 or every 10 miles. So that is 3 liter a mile. And uh, my real life car actually it's a Volvo S40 from 2004. I recently upgraded myself, I had a 98 year model earlier. Uh, anyways, that car is a 1.8 liter engine. This one is probably like 10 liters or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one takes 0.7 liters a mile. So that is, uh, how much is that? Uh, that is 7 liters every 100 kilometers. And that drops down depending on where you drive and goes up if you drive in the city, of course. Uh, so, how do you drive economic economically? You might think. Well, right, like right now, we're at cruising here at 1,000 RPMs, and that is the optimum uh, RPM range where you want to be uh, between 1,000 and 1,500. So, uh, if it goes uphill you might want to switch down early before the hill um, to have that extra power to be able to make it and you want to push the gas a lot at the beginning of the hill or before the hill and then you have to just cruise up the hill without trying to lose uh, too much speed but you don't you don't uh, you should gain speed as well you should lose speed but not too much And of course, as soon as you release the gas, as you see now, on the current econ there, we are driving free. It says zero. Push the gas a little and it goes up. So, you want to try and um, don't accelerate uphills. Accelerate before the uphill, 
of course still not exceeding the speed limit and then in downhill you just want to cruise down or if like now we're in 50 we want to gas a little bit to get it up to 60 there because you don't want to you want to, don't want a huge traffic behind us like it's kind of building up to be now but we always still have a slow truck ahead of us and it's good to keep our distance uh, so here's a little bit uphill switch down the gear to 15 give it a little bit of gas and uh, accept just accept that it's losing the speed it's okay because we're gonna gain it anyways uh, after this hill so now we can switch up here again and cruise it down and we can also release the gas even because we're in 60 now so we just release the gas and we ride for free and as you see the trip econ there is going down so this is a real fun way to drive also when you have this uh, computer which tells you of your fuel economy and you can do this in your uh, regular um, uh, car as well which you use to drive to work or whatever uh, if you have one of these uh, trip econs but it, of course it works without one as well it's just that you don't see it live like this and it's a lot more fun to see it live of course um, you know, so I, I think it's a great fun to just compete with yourself like this, trying to get the lowest fuel economy because, um, you know, the the environment today is so bad. Uh, where there's so much pollution in the world, it's crazy. Um, I don't I don't believe our planet is gonna last for too long. Uh, the pollution has gone up like crazy, and the ices are melting away like crazy. And you know, you can have all your conspiracy theories that you want, but something is going to happen real soon. And uh, well, basically, I am a truck driver, I didn't know so much about the environment before I uh, took my started taking my license. So I'm just gonna have to accept it and uh, drive as economically as I can. Uh, that's like the least bit I can do. I still have to drive and earn my money, but of course, the best thing to do is just leave your car at home. <laughs> and uh, take a train and commute or buy a motorcycle and uh, you know there's some really fuel efficient motorcycles there which are pretty great I am thinking of getting a new one I right now I have a GSX 600F which actually surprisingly takes like half a liter m mile uh, so that's like almost as much as my car it's pretty crazy I was thinking about buying a, um, a Yamaha XT660 R to go a little bit more off-roading maybe oh wait uh, pause 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 where's the menu button there we go uh, I'm not sure here where we're going oh yeah we're supposed to go in there damn okay oh well we're gonna do this awkward turn uh, I'm sure they uh, appreciate it behind us though anyway <laughs> now they can finally guess ahead over there <laughs> so we have uphill here let's gain speed and now we just cruise up and we're losing speed but that's okay we weigh how much do we weigh? Um, let's see here. We weigh 14 tons, and the truck weighs probably about the same. So I guess we're at 30 tons now. And 30 tons up a hill uh, takes a lot of power and fuel, so it will slow down. You just have to accept that. And we are going to the right here, and this. I believe it's one of those tight turns again so we're gonna have to slow down a lot here and take it wide and of course the blinkers is really important in these situations because the people behind you if you look there on the right mirror they are stopping because they see you blinking to the right so they're like oh shit is turning so it's really important to use your blinkers and you know, we, we trucks, we always have to do this, we don't have any other other choice, we have to sometimes go in and, uh, even on the wrong side of the road sometimes to be able to make our turns and many um, 
car drivers doesn't realize that because they die. they haven't got a truck license. So they're just li like honking and <laughs> and uh, you know showing us the finger and what the fuck. And, oh, wow, stupid son of a bitch, man. <laughs> that was uh, if this were Sweden and that would have happened right there. Because you saw this is probably 110 kilometers just on our road. You saw how fast it was going, and I was going to do 50. Uh, if this were in Sweden, you would of course have longer acceleration entries. Uh, but that would probably have been on his fault. I don't know if it's how it's like in other countries, in other countries. We who enter the motorway are probably have all the responsibility, but not in Sweden. There. The responsibility lies on both, so also there might have been 50-50 there, because I probably could have gone out in the uh, sideway like that before you entered, just to accelerate and get the speed up. But it's hard when when you're in a simulator like this, you can't really see so good, and uh, you know, yeah, it's it's hard. It's just a lot easier in real life. Um, yeah, anyway, because in Sweden you have uh, the responsibilities on both sides. If you don't if the car not in here and it's free to the left, if it doesn't move to the left, which it could have done to uh, to help me entry the the highway, uh, then it would have been his fault because it's free to the left, and uh, you know I have to come in and I don't have any choice. I can't keep on going. Maybe it's uh, it's uh, rails on this side, so I can't keep on going. Sometimes I have to turn out, and if they don't in this uh, place don't break or move to the side, they can be the one responsible as well. Which is pretty logical for me, I think. Run! <laughs> yeah, that sounds strange. Okay, this is also a pretty tight turn, so let's take it out here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I feel really great having my uh, trucking license now. It feels fantastic. I've been celebrating almost all week. Of course, we're gonna go to the right here, by the way. You always have to stick to the right with your truck. That is the optimal uh, lane for truck drivers. Um, so yeah, it feels great. I've been like relaxing, chilling, and celebrating all week. Actually, the same day as I got my license, I went home to my garden with uh, my friend, and uh, we bought a few cigar uh, cigars before that, <laughs> and we popped up in a uh, what's it called a champagne. Uh, I don't know what's it's called in, Eng in English, but uh, a sort of wine which you use when you celebrate. You know the one which which uh, makes the core core that is called. Uh, Damn, my English sucks, sucks sometimes. Shuck. <laughs> uh, we popped that open and we just sat there and chilled and enjoyed life. And smoked our cigars. <laughs> that was really awesome. And, um... Yeah, feels good eight. Actually, this is surprisingly how many jobs, uh, how many jobs there are as a truck driver. They have been coming to our school actually. Uh, some companies have been coming to our class and like saying they need uh, how many, like 50 chauffeurs or uh, what they're called, uh, drivers, 50, 50 drivers. They've been like competing for us to join, join their company and drive for them. Almost, it feels like that. They like bringing chocolate and talking about their company, and staying, uh, staying outside the classroom, like uh, for us to be able to go out to them and uh, talk to them and get a little small interview. Well, and there my foot camera went, so we're gonna have to reset that one. 
clap our hands. Yay! <laughs> so I can sync it up easily. And of course also my uh Ah this camera. Thirty tons, it just it just goes. Of course, it's a little bit uphill here now, so we're gonna lose a little bit of speed, but not much because there's a downhill here again. So we can just cruise, because you know there's probably a, a red light up ahead anyway. So when you drive like this, people are in your own car, people are probably gonna try and pass you and stuff. But the funny thing is they don't they don't gain anything from it usually. Because there's as you see here a red light up ahead anyway, so they just guessed. Overtake you for no reason. Also one great thing to do when driving economically is um, to plan ahead. So as you saw there's also a red light. We could have braked earlier. And by braking earlier, the light could have uh, turned green by the time we're there, so then we didn't have to stop, and every time you stop it takes a lot of fuel. So here is its red light, so we just slow down a lot here, early, and it's green, so now we didn't have to go all the way at the red light and then stop to be able to, you know, wear out the clutch and everything to get going again. Sorry buddy, I had to loan a bit of your space here. Thanks. So that is eco driving, you know, uh, there's a lot more to talk about in eco driving, driving economically, to get that trip econ down, I mean if this was another guy or if this was me driving like before in my other videos, my fuel economy would probably be sky high, like right at 5 liters, 5 liters a mile maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can do, make, manage this parking here as well, without looking outside. I had a really great time doing this commentary by the way, surprisingly, because uh, I think this is a lot more fun to do driving legally and economically than just flooring it, driving racing style. So I'm sorry for my other videos where I drive like a jackass. So yeah, but I'm sure you really appreciate this. Ah, uh, I hate that you, can, you can't see, really see so good in this um, mirror, it's so low pixeled and 
some stuff. Uh, well, we can't really see there, but I think we're going to. We're just about to crash into that trailer beside it here. Yeah, that is extremely close. But I think. Yeah, I think we could. Mm, we have to turn back now. Oh shit, this. This might work. I'm not sure. I hope. Let's pray to God. It would be awesome to make it on the first try. Like this. We're just about to crash into this. Okay, no. We didn't make it. That is so. Uh, so wrong. We need to be a lot more straight there. Here we go. Now, come on, show me some green light. There we go. And guys, we are done. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I sure did. This truck mod is freaking awesome. And um, if you want to try it out, you know, uh, download link in the description and lots of other cool stuff down there. And here is this awesome truck. Looks amazing. I showed. Uh, I I waited to show you the best, best stuff at last, of course. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Anyway, that is our uh, uh, job completed. Forklifts delivered from Paris to Brussels in six hours and forty minutes. Uh, would have gone in like four hours if we took the motorway, but we had a lot more fun. Uh, fuel consumed, holy shit, 110 liters. Oh boy. That's a lot of fuel. But you see, this is also good when you are driving uh, at the company and you drive fuel economically or um, fuel efficiently. Uh, this one would probably bend um, 150 liters for another driver, maybe 100 liters for a really good driver, and you know, your. Uh, boss will look at this and he will he will be really happy if this is low because you might save him ten thousands of dollars each year or thousands at least of dollars each year if you drive efficiently enough so I hope you learned something from this video and thought you would, it was great please leave me any feedback um, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section below and don't forget to congratulate me <laughs> on my driving license and uh, please like and share this video amongst your friends or Facebook social media uh, take care you guys I hope you have a great summer see you soon bye bye